What's up, Chloe? Hi, how are you? Good. I'm I'm excited that now I get a chance to speak with you when you were in Chicago. Um, you were at our other radio stations. I'm like, I miss Chloe. I wanted to be there with you too. <laughs> but I'm so glad that we have we have this one-on-one -on -one time together. Just you yes, and I. You and I. But uh, I'm glad I'm able to lock you down. I know that you are, you know, about to wrap up your tour and teach this tour. How's that been going for you? It's been amazing. I have been having the best time out on the stage every night and, you know, singing the songs with the fans. It's just been incredible. That's cool. When I see you in your interviews, because I've watched you a lot, I've been following you. Yeah. She's so sweet and she's so mild mannered. But when you hit that stage, girl, you turn into a whole nother person. Like, what? What is that electrifying personality all about? It's just when you hit the stage. Yeah. So the Chloe in everyday life, I'm so shy and, you know, very to myself and I'm quite warm. And when I go on stage, I become a complete different person. I get confidence out of somewhere. And, you know, that's just the Chloe with no boundaries and no fear or anything like that. Wow, that's great. What goes into your decisions as to like, you know, uh, what songs you're going to sing, your your marketing, like what you're going to wear and those type of things. What goes into those decisions? Is that strictly Chloe? You have a team or tell me about that. Yeah, what goes into those decisions? I have an incredible team. And also it's really based off of feeling and what feels the best and what feels right, you know? So that's, I just go wherever my heart leads me. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That's incredible. Even when I think about uh, the movie Praise This, which I've watched a couple mm -hmm. times already, what went into your Yay. first decision to even to accept that role? Um, did it take you out of your comfort zone? I, you know, it was it was you know more of an inspirational based a uh, film with gospel artists. I saw Corinne the other day, yeah. and she just talked about how amazing you are. But your decision, I even love her. Praise This. Yes. Yeah, so for me, I was really excited even when I just auditioned for it because it had all of the things that I love combined, God, music and acting. So it was really exciting. I was like, man, I, I could really kill this role. So when they offered it to me, I was really, really happy. And it was a no brainer, you know, as out there that I am with myself and my body and with my performing. I am such a huge believer and lover of God, and I've never been shy to talk about God and how I would not be here without him. So it just, it felt completely right. That's good. So Chloe, did you, did you come up in church? Did your, did your parents, did, you know, was, was going to church on Sunday a thing for you guys? Or tell me a little bit about that side of you. Yeah, so Hallie and I, we grew up like singing in our grandmother's church in South Carolina. You know, we'd be in church every Sunday, things like that. And my aunt, she is a pianist in the church. And my late cousin, she was a choir teacher. So it's like, it's it's sprinkled in our history, our family tree. Yeah, wow, that, that's incredible. Uh, like I said, I mentioned uh, Corinne Hawthorne. She spoke so highly of you. She said, man, you know, it was just so, it was just that she said the chemistry was just there when you guys came together, you yeah. and Kaylin. Um, it was just very intriguing. I I, I watched it really get to the end like a few times. So, Oh, that makes me so happy. Thanks for the support. It, it really means a lot. That's great. Um, so your project in pieces, um, you're, you're, you, when I was reading your thoughts about it, you said that uh, you wanted to make sure that um, the music was healing for others. In what respect did you mean that? Yes, yeah, so I created this music to heal myself. And, you know, whenever I'm in a moment where it doesn't feel the best, I would run to music to get me out of that. And, you know, I definitely use the songs that made this project to do that for me and as it's healing myself i hope that you know it resonates with one or two or however many people that need it to connect with you know from a quick listen it if you just listen to it from a surface level you will just think you know it's just about oh yeah i'm bad all by myself things like that but when you really pay attention to the lyrics you can hear the vulnerability and you know the hidden insecurities and things like that under all of that 
Wow. I mean, that's incredible for you to even to admit that you yourself mm -hmm. uh, went through a time of depression. Yeah. You, yeah. And you think that, you know, someone like Chloe, who seems like she has the whole world and she's winning in so many ways. <laughs> but I mean, you're, I mean, hey, you are a real person like anyone that's, you know, not an entertainer. So yeah. Why did you decide to be so open, you know, with your journey? Because I don't want anyone to feel alone and I don't want people to look at everyone's best version of themselves everywhere online and things like that and think that, man, something's wrong with me because I'm not like that all of the time. And I feel like we don't talk about it enough, you know, in social media and with everything. We're so easy to talk about the awards and when we're at our best and at the height of our careers and you know showing the best highlights of our relationships and things like that but no one really talks about the other side the other side that majority of us are actually going through you know and if i could just help one person feel less alone and and know that nothing is wrong with them then i know i've done my job and it, it becomes bigger than myself that's great so chloe if you had a room filled with uh i would say teenagers maybe high schoolers in specific, like, you know, young lady, like what words of inspiration would you share with them, you know, about this time in their life and, you know, being confident in who they are? What kind, what words, of, if you were sitting, you know, with this group of young ladies, what would you say to them? I would tell them, give yourself grace. It's okay not to feel fantastic all of the time. And we have to honor ourselves and our emotions and our feelings. And we have to give ourselves mental breaks when we need them. That's what I would say first and foremost. And I would say, don't be afraid to speak up and fight for yourself so that you don't let years and years go by and you regret it. You know, that's what I would say. Is there anything, I mean, I know you, you're relatively young. You're still in your twenties. I totally get it. <laughs> um, but, but is there anything that you would do differently moving forward? Like, you know, based on where you've got so far, is there anything that you would do, do it differently career wise? Ooh, what I, we, yeah. What I, what I would do differently. I think I would find my voice a lot sooner. You know, I wouldn't be afraid to use it to speak up. That's, that's, that's what I would do differently, but everything else I feel like you have to go through life lessons and things so that you can grow from the falls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you yeah. surprised? Mm -hmm. Are you surprised at um, the reaction that you're getting? You know, both positive and negative. Anything that has surprised you about how people have reacted to where you are this far, your career, your music, even the movie praised this. Anything? That, uh... Ooh, well, I feel like. Any and everything kind of surprises me. I go into things with no expectations. <laughs> so, you know, I'm so grateful for the ones who are rocking and riding with me. And, you know, whether it's good or bad, people are still talking about me. So I'm doing something right, you know? Wow. What what is what is winning for Chloe? Like what what would you define as winning for you personally? Winning for me, I would have to say having complete and utmost peace and feeling whole. I feel like that's winning for me, you know, and of course I want to win an EGOT one day and, you know, materialistic things are, are quite nice at times, but I really want my internal to be really happy and, and at peace. That, that's what winning means to me. Wow. Congratulations. And I'm hoping that uh, they do a, a part two of Praise This. And me too. Part of it, you, I mean, like you, was, you rocked it. I Thank mean, you so much. It was incredible. I, I just love the chemistry there uh, of all the ladies. Um, outside, when your tour is over, what's 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 next for you? What what's 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 the plan? What's next? I am going to go on a little vacation and just lay in the sun and write music, and we'll see where God takes me next. Amen. Amen to that. Well, congratulations yeah. to you and to your Thank sister. You. This is a very fruitful season for you all. Yes, it is. God is good. Yeah, you've been putting the work in, and now you see the fruits of your labor. And yes. So, yeah. So I uh, thank you. I, I need those glasses too, by the way. You can when you come to Chicago, <laughs> bring them. <in. laughs> I can well, give them to you. Oh, uh, right, just pop them on. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I love them. <laughs> They're adorable. <laughs> thank you. All right. Well, congratulations. Thank you so much for taking the time um, to speak with me. Thank you. I wish you well. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you. Thank you too. God bless. Bye.